Green card, green card, green card. This is the hottest topic in town, I can say. If you live in America or you aspire to live in America, then you must be very much familiar with this term, green card. And yes, everyone living here definitely wants to have their green card as soon as possible. But if you're an Indian or a Chinese national, of course, the two countries having the highest population in the world, this line is just long and long and long. The wait has been pathetic. And this is what we will be discussing in this series of green cards, so stay tuned. Hello, Namaste, welcome back to my channel. This is Pragya Mishra, your visa and travel guide. If you're interested in any topics related to visa, immigration, travel, studying in USA, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is going to be all about green cards. So stay tuned and watch till the end of the video. There is something interesting waiting for you. Bollywood movies are full of ideas. We have all seen Bollywood movies in which the hero or heroine they come to America get married to maintain their visa status here legally in this country. I'm giving you some ideas, right? Wait, this is not true, but it's also true to some extent. Green card by marriage does happen, but how does it happen and how far is it legal? We are going to discuss it today. So keep watching. Getting a green card by marriage is definitely one of the quickest way to get a green card. But for that, what you need is a partner. And that's not easy. You just can't go and marry someone just to get a green card. Well, that's happening or not. I'm not going to comment on that. But if you marry a US citizen, then your chances of getting a green card quicker rises dramatically and that is one of the easiest ways these days I can say. So let us discuss about the requirements of green card with marriage. The first thing obviously you need a partner, a partner who is a US citizen. If your partner you are aspiring to marry is a US citizen then the, your partner after marriage can definitely sponsor a green card for you. It's a big advantage that comes with marrying a US citizen. So basically, your partner needs to file a 130 for you along with your application for change of status. Application for change of status, it is required whenever you change your visa status from one visa form to another visa form. So that will happen. And I-130. I-130 is required for your application of green card. So now, as I told you, the US partner has to file a form I-130. Let me tell you what is this form I-130. Form I-130 is a petition for alien relative. So any US citizen or a lawful permanent resident can file form I-130 for their relative. But filing of I-130 or being approved of I-130 does not uh, make does not give you any benefit or um, of being a resident here. There are other things to come along with that. So after the I-130 is being filed and it is approved, then the person becomes eligible to file for uh, I-485. So what is I-485? In I-485, the person applies to become a permanent resident of this country. So form I-130, form I-485, these two forms, I go fill it up and then I have a green card in hand. No, hold your horses. This is not as easy as it looks. Although I told you that the career process of green card gets quicker when it is a green card by marriage. Yes, that is true. But this is again subject to various other conditions being satisfied. They are, not, they are just not going to grant you a green card like that. They are obviously going to check into the facts. They are going to establish a relationship between the petitioner and the relative. If it is this marriage, they are going to check whether this marriage is bona fide or not. Bollywood movies, we have always seen that fake marriages happen. It's not just in the movies. It does happen in reality. And these are easily being found out. You just can't assume that I learn a few questions about my partner, answer, it, answer them in the interview, and I get through the process of green card. Doesn't work like that. This happens only in the movies. In real life, it doesn't work. 
So if your marriage is bona fide, if your marriage is true, then definitely this process should be a very, very hassle free process for you and you should be having your green card very, very soon. So all those aspiring to have a green card with marriage, this is your one stop destination I can say. All the best. Be very, very clear with your paperwork, have an attorney so that you can have a proper uh, guidance and a timeline to this entire pro process. And of course, uh, very, very all the best to you. Do comment in the comment section below how the entire process was for you. And we will be coming back with another exciting video about green cards. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.